March Madness edition of the Sports Horn. The most exciting weekend in sports, and it's about to kick off here on Thursday. Clint Schweitzer, Chris Westendorf, and I'm ready for some Gus Johnson rising fire! Bam! <laughs> I'm ready, too. I'm ready, too. It's an exciting time of the year, and I think everybody's ready to get these brackets filled out. We've, we've got the, uh, the teams are set. We're, we've been looking them over. We've got, um, you know, some really exciting, just some exciting matchups. I mean, going over this bracket, you look, I mean, from top to bottom, there is matchups all the way from week one, all the way through this thing. And I think we start out with our Missouri Tigers. And we have been paired up with the six-seeded Cincinnati Bearcats. Well, also, I bought that Ray Allen jersey when I was in sixth grade. Glad it came into to play now. Guys, like, like Chris mentioned, Missouri taking on Cincinnati. I'll tell you something about the Cincinnati Bearcats. The times that I've watched them play this year, they have been abysmal. Very close to the way Missouri has played down the stretch here against the, some of our opponents. Similar like teams. In, in the Big yeah, 12 tournament. And Cincinnati likes to get up and run just like Missouri. They have a big man, a 6'9", you know, 265-pound player that can run the floor. That could be a problem for Missouri. Yes. But they're, they're high-tempo like us. They, they want to play like we want to play. Missouri's actually a one-point favorite. Do you see us getting past the first round, or is this team done? Well, let me tell you. Here is how I see it. I think what it depends on which Missouri team shows up. And I know all Mizzou fans know what I'm talking about. If we show up like the team that we are, full of talent, and actually run an offense and not just, I don't want it, you shoot it, I don't want it, you shoot it kind of offense, if we're, if we're alley-ooping, if we're getting inside, getting the ball inside, and, I don't know, maybe not getting called for fouls when we breathe on players, yeah, I think we have a chance to definitely win in the first round. I do give Cincinnati a lot of respect, though, and this is a tougher first-round opponent than I was hoping for, to be honest with well, you. Well, our seed dropped to 11. Missouri was one of the last six teams in, guys. When we talked about it being close last week, it was close. We, it was a lot closer than I expected. And any, you know, any shocks going into this thing, because, you know, I have a question here. We have some questions in the mailbag on the Facebook page. Yes. Justin Woods asked us, you know, why is the Big 12 not getting any respect? And by that, I think he's referring to why did Colorado not get into this tournament? Because I, I it still is a don't joke. Know. I still don't know. Shocking. They beat, they beat Kansas State three times, three times. right? You, you can't leave those guys out. They beat they beat Missouri once, who yeah. has also, also beat won. Texas. Beat Texas. That is a joke to leave them out. And my cousin Jimmy Barnes actually elaborated the fact that maybe Missouri should have been left out before Colorado. I don't know that I go that far, but I, I'm very disappointed. If you look at some of the other teams that got in, it's a disaster that Colorado It's a good there. question that uh, Justin pointed out. Definitely. You know, Kansas State gets a 5 C. Kansas, of course, a 1, and that's going to be something we talk about. Uh, Texas, a 4. But, guys, it's going to be interesting as Missouri, that's our key matchup, obviously, yes. as we look to Cincinnati. But is there any other surprises in this thing? Because you've got some really weird seeds. I mean, is there is there an upset that you see any of the 13s I, or the 12s? That well, can, I'll tell you, I do. I see a 4 versus 13 upset, and that's Wisconsin versus Belmont. Belmont is yeah. a very, very strong basketball they team. They beat Tennessee earlier beat in the Tennessee year. beat Tennessee earlier in the year. Tennessee's in the tournament. Uh, I, a question that all of our fans are going to want to know, being as they watch this because of Mizzou, how do we feel about Kansas playing Boston University in the first round? Are we going to be those guys here unzipping the jackets with Boston U on our, on our, on our T-shirts, Glenn? Is well, it going to happen? I, I can't go that far because they are playing a 16 seed. Obviously, it's never happened. We'll be cheering for, for Boston, of course. Of course. Uh, but they, that's going to be an easy matchup for Kansas. And I, I think Kansas does get to the Sweet 16 this year, which is a, you know, a, big, a big deal for them. Do you have what, – what, what is your surprise – in this tournament. Who is the team that we need to tell our fans that we and that way after this happens I can take credit can, for it. You can take credit for it. What what team do you see breaking into that sweet sixteen elite eight that should not be there? I think that one that you you know that, that's listed right above where you talked about Belmont, I think that uh, Utah State as a twelve seed could knock off Kansas State and get to the Sweet Sixteen. They were a team that was ranked all year Really has good guard play yeah. to get there. A team that I'm really not sold on going into this is BYU, who's a three seed. Yes. I don't see them getting past the second round after their suspension and this violating of honor codes. And Although I, can't I will really say speak that, that Jim, I'm not they, a Mormon. Right. And, and I will say that, that Jimmer Fredette, he's, he's a phenomenal athlete. We all want to see him. And we would all like to see him probably do good. But I'll be honest, i got to agree with you on the BYU. Chris, we have a hit from the website from Thomas Dinsmore, our good buddy. He has a yeah. question. He said, and this is his bracket, he said, Will you guys finally give Mike Anderson respect after Missouri wins the national championship? He's got Missouri chalked to the title. 
And I say to the, I say, this, I, you, you gotta re, you gotta look this thing back over, buddy. I gotta be honest with you. There is, I'll be, I'll be honest. Yes, I'm gonna root for Mizzou to go all the way and win it all. But do I think that they're gonna get past the second round of this thing? Two rounds into it, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love the Tigers. I'm gonna be cheering harder or as hard as any Mizzou fan out there. But no, I don't see them getting past Cincinnati, then UConn. I mean, if we play up to our potential, is it possible? Yes, but I just don't see it. Do you? Right now, I don't either, and this is something that I think a lot of Missouri fans echo this sentiment, so it's going to be it's gonna be crazy. I, this tournament, We're not this negative, is, no. but being real. Being real. Uh, another question, and this is uh, from Matt Jeffrey. He asked about Dick Vitale. He is tired of Dick Vitale, and I, I have this to tell you about that, Matt. He's not going to be there. This is a CBS-run tournament. It Dick is. Vitale works for ESPN. We won't deal with him. We'll be hearing Kevin Harlan, Gus Johnson, and only the best Clark Kellogg in right. the game. So and those are the guys that. that I want to hear, to be honest with you. I, it's not that I don't love Dickie B, but it, you know, it's kind of like the Madden record. Can I, can I, maybe? I just, agree. Okay. Chris, it's crunch time. Give me your final four right here, because we have a bracket contest on the Facebook page, guys. It's the Sports Horn Bracket Bash. Go fill out a bracket. The winner is going to get it announced on air on our on last air. episode. And we, are, we will give you full credit. Full credit. For what, for what so you go do. fill out a bracket. Chris, what's yours? Okay, here's my final four. I'm going to run it down for you. There's some surprises in here. One is, is, is a big surprise, but it's a team that Nick Wright doesn't believe in at 610 Sports that I do. And it's his alma mater of all things. I believe Syracuse makes it into the final four over Ohio State in the East Bracket. In the West Bracket, I do not see anybody getting past Duke. I'm sorry. Mike Krzyzewski, Coach K, he's going to get them there. We go to the Southwest Bracket. Yeah. As a Missouri fan, it kills me to say Kansas, I believe, will make it to the Final Four. Yikes. Going to the Southeast you, Bracket. You kissed your mother with that mouth? I know. It kills me. We go to the Southeast Bracket, and... You know, like I said, I, I look for Beaumont to be a surprise team, but not a Final Four team. I I gotta go, I gotta go with Pittsburgh. They're, I, I'm Pitt sorry, really they're a one seed. I know a lot of people are gonna go. That's yeah, that's that's, that's two number one seeds. Two Chris. number one seeds. That's too many. Sorry, I actually that's three number one seeds. Yeah, I, I'm going cliche, but that's Syracuse Shane Wright is gonna make it into the Final Four. I'm gonna prove you wrong, and but you're gonna love it at the same time. You know what, Chris? Well, I give I'll, me your Final Four. Honestly, like our our uh, you know one side of the bracket is the exact same in the East. I have Syracuse because I think that's a battle tested team in the Big East that can get to the Final Four because of the you know strength of schedule that they yes, have. Yes. And Ohio State has played in a, in a Big Ten. They've looked great. JD Sol you know Solinger's a great player. I think Syracuse gets there. It's bracket set up for them. Uh, in the West, Duke. I mean, they're like the L.A. Lakers of college basketball. When they get to the tournament, you don't pick against them. They're going to get you there. Don't. You don't. Uh, in the Southwest, I couldn't pick against Kansas. Would pick the University of Hell, over, you know, over Kansas <laughs> in a tournament setting. I got Louisville getting there. Another Big East team, uh, Louisville getting there over them. And then in, in the Southeast, I don't want to pick anybody. I had to go with Florida, a two seed. Again, not a lot of shocks, but I think that... You know, when you get to the Sweet 16 Elite Eight, that's when there's going to be a you, lot of surprises. You, you want to hear, hear? You want to hear something nobody wants to hear? And this is something no Mizzou fan wants to hear because, especially if we wouldn't make it that far, there is a small possibility, and this kills me to say it because you know I hate the state of Kansas, but Kansas and Kansas State could end up being in the Final Four, playing against each other to go to the national title game. Please. That is a DVD you no. put out, Kansas State. Not a regular season. Are we fearing the beard? I shaved mine I, uh, last year. I so. dyed mine. <laughs> so we appreciate it again, Boy, guys. I have one more thing, and I know a lot of our viewers are probably going to maybe see what I'm trying to do here. It's been sweeping the nation. It's all over TV, and I can't get it out of my head even when I go to sleep at night. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It works. Oh, my God. We got a State Farm rep right State here. State Farm agent Dylan Oder is in the on the horn. Would you quit doing this? I'm sorry. It's just so awesome. You guys got to. We got to send this guy back home. He was trying to enjoy a game on his couch. Did you forget the Oreos? I did. Sports Horns, we have a big event coming up at the Strike Zone here in Clinton, May 21st. It's on a Saturday night. You guys are going to have to come out. We got a couple bands coming out. We're going to be doing raffles. We're going to be auctioning some stuff off. We're going to be charity. kicking off the summer in style. Kicking it off in style. It's a, it's a sports horn summer kickoff party, and we want to see everybody there.